Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop, brought to you by the Hospitality Group. Best jobs, best candidates, latest news, exclusive networking and industry events. Radio partner 106.2 Hum FM and the Pro Chef. Fashion partner RR Fashion. Production partner Charles Real Media Productions Dubai. Magazine partner Hospitality Business Middle East. Welcome to Hospitality Buzz, your inside scoop on the hospitality industry in the UAE. Today we are at the Premier Inn in Abu Dhabi. Thank you all so much for the overwhelming response you have sent via email. It only goes to show that you appreciate our efforts that we put into this program. You will see and learn lots of interesting things from the hospitality industry. Email us your feedback, email at hospitalitybuzz.com and join our Facebook page, Hospitality Buzz. Now, let's get started with the most exciting happenings in the hospitality sector in the UAE. The Palm Jumeirah's largest foreign investor, publicly listed IFA Hotels and Resorts, is adding yet another impressive residential resort to its island portfolio. At eight stories, the mixed-use development will add an additional 300 units to the Palm Jumeirah's limited inventory. Ever since its opening less than two years ago, Crown Plaza Jordan Dead Sea Resort and Spa has been enjoying success after success and award after award. The latest award that the five-star Dead Sea Resort has achieved is the Intercontinental Hotels Group's famous Heartbeat Program Award, specifically in the most committed hotel team for the year 2013. For any hotel, the first impression that the guest gathers can be the deal maker or the deal breaker. However, you must keep in mind that a lot of thought and effort goes into every aspect of the property to reflect the vision and the message that they wish to convey. Now, let's take a look at the selected property of the week in Hospitality Limelight. Hospitality Limelight, brought to you by Excite Tourism. Visit GoExciteTourism.com Ramada demands strength based on quality and that is the reason that the best reviews by the guest. Uh, we are the winner of uh, Certificate of Excellence by TripAdvisor for 2013. Ramada Ajman has many areas uh, edge on our uh, competitors. Uh, one is a business that we are the leading hotel. There is, uh, there is uh, no other opinion. Third year we are the leading hotel in the Northern Emirates in terms of occupancy so operation remains very busy. The second best part is uh, our CSR activities. We are very active. We are very active in charity initiatives. We are very active in environment. We are very active in community jobs. Uh, that is really, I mean, uh, different area which make us really different from the rest of the competitor. Uh, the third area is the, again, quality, where the guest reviews are very high. I mean, you go in CS market in Russia, so we are like 90 plus. If you go to the West Europe in holiday check, we are again 92-93% you know which we are the uh, different from the competitor and uh, fourth area which is the uh, staff retention we have the highest staff retention in the Middle East uh, in my opinion uh, the best part from Ramada Juman uh, that we kept happy you know our uh, guest throughout the uh, you know I mean operation then we have we are keeping happy our staff and at the same time with the profitability owner is happy also which is most important commercial uh, business i'm very happy to see when uh, guests they are booking the hotel and they're mentioning that green hotel or we are booking your hotel because you are a green or you are uh, environmental friendly hotel uh, that really makes me happy you know i mean and when they're coming here again the uh, education you know start for them also it was very easy for me to train staff because they are in-house. We have a different training, we have channels. But imagine, we have we catered 155 nationality in 2012. So different cultures, different nationality when they're coming and staying. Uh, my motto is uh, awareness on mass level. So that awareness goes to the guest as well. So we are giving, you know, in a different uh, level. Uh, guests when they're arriving, we are giving them, you know, education on the uh, reduction so at least they can be a part of this uh, environment sport also. 
there are two areas. Uh, one is the zero landfill, uh, where we have the segregation of our waste, and uh, it's a very responsible job. We have set uh, area where we are segregating all our hotel waste, which is one ton, and uh, from this waste, uh, we have the recycle item, and then we have the compost item. The organic food waste is going in a compost machine, and then we are diverting from their uh, compost. So that is the area where we are diverting 90% of waste from the landfill. I like the area very much, but now newly development is the urban farm, where always I go, where we have the fresh vegetables, we have flowers, we have lovebirds. That is the best area where all the time, you know, I wanted to go during the day. I started my career as a union leader, you know, when I joined the hotel industry. So I know what are the really requirements from the staff. Being a general manager, I know all those areas. So I'm general manager, at the same time, I don't forget myself a role of the union also, as a union leader. So I'm just balancing, you know, it's very important that you need to balance, uh, you know, the staff rights and most of the people are expat. So I remember that when I came in this country, you know, I was hired as a reservation executive. So I'm just taking all those weaknesses out from the management and uh, keeping you know, staff very happy. In my opinion, a uh, hotel job is like addiction. You know. Once you're in, you can't go out. Hospitality buzz is not only about how hotels are, how interesting they are. We also aim in bringing in a learning element for you so that you can learn and try out new things at home. Hi, welcome to JA Ocean View Hotel. My name is Tahir Khan, I'm the executive housekeeper. Uh, he is Chamela, our room attendant, and today we will show you how to uh, make an elephant out of towel. So for, before that, you need to take a, a bath towel and then one hand towel. Fold it from the both edge roll it start roll it away from uh, one end towards half and then you can take the other uh, end do the same just uh, fold it put on the uh, bed for the trunk take the small hand towel and uh, start rolling from the both corners slowly slowly and make it it will create it will make a trunk for that once you take it put on top of the elephant body and you will see, we will put the eyes now and our towel elephant is ready. Time for a quick break, but we still have hospitality talk, the big dish and the amazing opportunity for you to win incredible prizes and deals. So stay tuned. Top global hospitality companies look for the best candidate. Give yourself an opportunity to pick the right candidate for your company. Featuring the latest news from the hospitality industry. Network with the top industry professionals. Advertise with us. And grow with us. Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop. Thank you very much for joining us on Hospitality Buzz with the Inside Scoop. And next up, we have the big dish. But before that, let me tell you about the most exciting and exclusive deals you can avail only on Hospitality Buzz. Make sure that you note down the deal number you see on your TV screen right now. Then email it to us at email at hospitalitybuzz.com. Who knows, you may be one of the lucky ones who can avail this deal for yourself. Enjoy a 50% off on Friday brunch for two people at Signature by Sanjeev Kapoor Melia Hotel Dubai. Please use the code HB004 and send it to email at hospitalitybuzz.com. Being a show on the best hotel properties in the market, we cannot get away without showing you how to create a great dish for your guests. Let's have a look at what the chef is cooking today. The Big Dish is brought to you by Homes Are Us, simply homemaking. Hi, myself, Chef Kuldeep Rathuri. I'm uh, from Options by Sanjeev Kapoor. With me, Surendra Thakur. 
my assistant and we are going to prepare a chicken recipe which is steamed chicken kebab made from chicken mince. For this we need some chicken mince, some salt, some chopped chili, some uh, mint chutneys, some uh, chopped coriander, some chopped ginger, some julienne capsicum and some chopped mint. This is the plain chicken mince. Mince it in a mixer or you can uh, chop with the uh, knives, anything. So we are going to add some salt in it, some green chili, some chopped ginger, some chopped coriander and some of mints. Now we'll mix it well. Now we'll take a banana leaf. We will heat this banana leaf with the fire. Now the mixer is ready. So we will put the chicken mince over here on the banana leaf. Now mix peppers in just mint chutney. We'll mix it. Now we are going to make roll with chicken. And now we'll take a silver foil and we'll roll it tightly. Now we are going to put this roll in a hot water. Leave it for 15 minutes so chicken will cook properly. Now our chicken is ready. It is already boiled. So we'll remove it. Okay, now we will unwrap the chicken. We'll see how it looks like. Now we'll remove the banana leaf from the chicken. And now we'll cut this. Now what we are going to do with this, we will soak this in a mint chutney. Now our pan is already ready, so we are going to add some olive oil in it. The chicken pieces we have marinated. Now the chicken is ready and we can serve it. We have some onion and some of pimentos in this and we will put this together. And we'll serve this with the hot chutney. Now your kebab is ready. Great things come at an attractive price. So if you liked what you saw in the limelight section, here is a chance to win an attractive gift from them in our contest section. Win a one-night complimentary stay for two people with breakfast at Ramada Hotel and Suits Ajman by simply answering this question. Where is Ramada Hotel and Suits located? Send in your entries to email at hospitalitybuzz.com. Good afternoon. Welcome at Zaitun Wellness Spa at Arabian Courtyard Hotel. My name is Asha and today we will show you how we do foot reflexology. Foot reflexology is a technique used on the foot with the knowledge that every organ and muscle group in your body has corresponding reflexes in your hands, ears and feet. Before, we prepare the feet by soaking them in the water with foot soak liquid in it. Meanwhile, the guest enjoys a nice neck and hand massage. A massage actually reduces the muscles tension and releases chronic pain. And also, good to know that it enhances your skin condition. The foot reflex stick can be used in the following way. You start with a little amount of pressure, then you increase the pressure, and then you hold it for a couple of seconds, and then you release. By massaging those specific pressure points on the foot, you stimulate those organs and or muscles, which results in the elimination of toxins and pain. Now some benefits of foot reflexologies are, it induces a state of deep relaxation by opening neural pathways. Also, a reflexology session stimulates more than 7,000 nerves, encouraging the opening and cleansing of neural pathways. And last but not least, it cleanses the body of toxins and impurities. Now that's all from Saitun Wellness Spa. Thank you. Time for a quick break, but when we return, we have Raj interviewing our guest from the hospitality sector. So stay tuned. Top global hospitality companies look for the best candidate. Give yourself an opportunity to pick the right candidate for your company. Featuring the latest news from the hospitality industry. Network with the top industry professionals. Advertise with us. And grow with us. Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop. The 
success of any property depends on clearly defined goals and a realistic vision. Raj had a one-on-one -on -one with the decision-making authority of this property. What did they talk about? Let's find out. Today we are talking to Mr. Musa Al Hayek, Chief Operating Officer of Al Bustan Center and Residence in Dubai. Mr. Musa has over 30 years of strong hospitality experience with international hotel brands like Hyatt, Radisson, Rotana Hotels, and Abu Dhabi National Hotels. He also was the founder member and vice president of Skal International Dubai chapter. Mr. Musa, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You have a mall connected to the hotel. That's right. Uh, what is the connection? The first concept of its kind at yes. the time when this hotel was built, yes. as you may be aware that uh, we opened our complex uh, sometimes in March 1997. And uh, the idea was is to have a self-contained complex. So mm -hmm. people, when they come and stay with us, they don't need to worry and go out for shopping. They do their own shopping under one roof. And uh, this concept uh, have proved to be very successful. Yes. And thereafter, as you can see now, there are many more hotels with uh, connected, connected to the mall, uh, mall to them, uh, which makes uh, people more uh, enjoyable while they are staying as well. Mr. Musa, tell me, uh, you have 640 rooms. That's right. Uh, suites, actually. 640 suites. That's Those are one bedroom suite, two bedroom suites. We have 202, uh, 208. Uh, two bedroom suites, mm -hmm. 136 one bedroom suites, and 296 studios. Those different room types or mm -hmm. suite types gives the flexibility in accommodating different level of families and yes. the clientele. Yes. This is where uh, we feel also we have an edge over our competitors. So most of your clientele are uh, leisure, corporate? We have a uh, different mix. Mm -hmm. We have a good balance of uh, leisure uh, from a local market, yes. leisure from uh, Europe as well as CIS countries. Okay. And we have uh, long-term customers as well. Uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the individual uh, corporate business too. I have also noticed that you have uh, a lot of staff who have been with you for many years. That's it. How do you take care of your staff? Well, I believe a human element is the most important asset yes. in our organization. Uh, furniture you can change from time to time, carpet you can change from time to time, but I think the more you keep your people with you, the more they uh, give you and the more they are aware of your needs and how to service your customer. Mm -hmm. And we believe in this, that's why we have most of our management team members are with us since 15 years. Mr. Musa, there are many hotels around. How, what, is, what makes you different? Tourism boom as well as the commercial business taking place in UAE in general and in Dubai in particular. Yes. I believe there is a scope uh, of market share for everyone. Yes. But of course, each hotel must have uh, their own uh, unique uh, selling points. And, yes. Uh, their own distinguished product. Mm -hmm. This is where we, as a complex, have uh, uh, chosen to be different from others, where we uh, provide a personalized service to our people. Though we are a large property, yes. you will always feel at home when you come to our place. You will never feel that you are in, in a huge and big uh, property. We take care of our uh, guests. Yes. Uh, we speak their language, mm -hmm. we know what are their needs, and uh, we keep in constant contact with them to see how better we can serve them. World Expo 2020 is coming to Dubai. How are you preparing for that? Uh, is it exciting? Well, uh, I'm sure uh, everyone will definitely benefit yes. from the Expo 2020 because there will be, uh, first of all, a long period of time mm -hmm. where uh, activities and uh, meetings and uh, conferences taking place. Yes. And uh, I'm sure there will be uh, more room built mm -hmm. for this uh, purpose. Yes. Therefore, we have to stay competitive in order to achieve our market share during that period. So any, any expansion plans for your company? Uh, expansion, there is no expansion as such because mm -hmm. we cannot expand uh, this uh, property, but of we may look at uh, more properties perhaps in, in, in that uh, vicinity. Okay, okay. So you, you're also doing some renovation, you would like to talk about? We, we have uh, already started our renovation and uh, around uh, 200 
suites have been renovated so far. Okay. And this will continue to be done as a matter of fact. As you know that we cannot close the hotel at one time of to course, do so this. It's but we will do like 25, 30 rooms at the time depending on the occupancy as well because we are running a very high occupancy and we I'm don't sure. want to, to lose the, the revenue. What is your advice to young budding hoteliers? Well, I think the most important is to know how to position their hotels. Yes. Positioning a hotel or any product is very important. Yes. To know who are your customers mm -hmm. and to provide them the right product at the right price and giving them the right service. This is, I believe, a very successful recipe for any hotelier. Thank you very much, sir. It was very Most nice welcome. talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Time now for the latest hospitality tip for this episode. And I am sure you'll find it very interesting. So, let's take a look. Hello, I'm Frankie D'Souza, working at Kaleidoscope. Atlantis, the Palm Dubai. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a garlic naan. We have the dough over here, which is made of refined flour, salt, sugar, some milk, some water, yep. Very important is we apply some butter to make the edges thinner, all right, so that we can spread it apart. And we have the hot tandoor over here. Since we don't have a tandoor at home, what you can do is you can use the same dough, yeah. Roll it out with the rolling pin, and then on the flat skillet, what you call normally a tawa, we just cook it on the tawa. So once the bread is ready, I'm going to take it off. So there you go. Apply some lovely melted butter, sprinkle some fried garlic, and the naan is ready to go. The hospitality industry has a lot of scope for career growth. If you're looking for new avenues or are working within the hospitality industry and looking for a different challenge, this might be of interest to you. Have a look and apply online through hospitality.com. Arabian Courtyard Hotel and Spa needs a credit supervisor. Candidates with star hotel experience preferred. That's all for this week's episode of Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop at the Premier Inn in Abu Dhabi. Please join us again next week as we bring to you amazing contests, tips, deals and of course hotels. Send us your feedback. Email us at email at hospitalitybuzz.com. But just before you leave, we have the interesting rapid fire round from our interview section. I'm sure you won't want to miss it. Take a look. Thank you, Saman. Uh, are you ready for my rapid fire rounds? Sure. Your, your best friend opened a theme restaurant. Okay. And you think it's very shabby. How would you put it across? Uh, well, you have to be a bit diplomatic, mm -hmm. okay, while uh, approaching him. And, and uh, I would say uh, positively and constructively criticize that. Your wife cooked a great meal for yourself. Okay. But you had meal with your boss and you returned home. You cannot eat. What, <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, of course, in order not to disappoint her, I will have just a quick bite with her and then, uh, you know, I'm not feeling like uh, <laughs> hungry nowadays. Your wife's uh, relatives are coming from abroad okay. and you forgot about picking them up. I see. The okay. <laughs> I see. And they are stuck at the airport. They are stuck at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> no one is there. They will call and I'll just apologize. As simple as that. Yeah. I will never say that I was busy, for sure. Okay, thank you very much, sir. It was very oh, nice talking welcome. to you. It was thank a pleasure you. talking thank to you. you. Thank you. Rolling and I think I'll do action. Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop, brought to you by the Hospitality Group. Best jobs, best candidates, latest news, exclusive networking and industry events. Radio partner 106.2 Hum FM and the Pro Chef. Fashion partner RR Fashion. Production partner Charles Real Media Productions Dubai. Magazine partner Hospitality Business Middle East.